What's going on guys, Killer6 back with my Borderlands hotfix buff test video. Now this one took a little bit longer than usual, I apologize for that, but there is a reason for that. The reason being that some of the buffs did not go through the other day. So as I was recording my video, I was like, you know, I've got this footage of like the web slinger, the moon fire and all this stuff, and I was like, something doesn't feel right. Well, it turns out the hotfixes for those didn't go through for some reason, but the devs caught it uh, through the diligence of the community pointing out that there was something wrong, and they fixed it this morning. Far as I know, all the fixes have gone out so i'm going to cover things the best that i can so that's what this video is going to be all about so first let me switch this over into my desktop mode so you guys can see what i see we're just going to go item by item off of the list now if you guys don't know what i'm talking about uh number one i made a video the other day that explains all this stuff but basically the emp5 tank man shield serve boss execute moonfire kibsworth redistributor and then the reflux multi-tap dna web slinger globe trotter smog and light speed grenade all these things got a buff and all that was listed on here was the falling pieces of gear received a damage buff now that doesn't always mean that it's written on the card it can mean that the special effects of these items do something different so for example the emp5 so far as i know what changed on this thing was not the damage as you can see the the card does not show any more damage now than it so this over over on the far side is current over here this is the current and then this image file right here is the old so as you can see with the emp5 nothing changed on the card now that doesn't mean that the hotfix didn't work for this thing it could very well mean that when you jump and you hit crits which is what this thing special ability is outside of it making you run faster when you jump and hit crits it's possible that that crit damage is higher. I never tested this really at Mayhem's, uh, Mayhem 10 level 65 to know what kind of damage it really does. I'm sure some math whiz out there can probably work up those numbers and figure that out, but I'm not that math whiz. The Tank Man Shield currently is sitting at 24,712 damage. Before the buff, it was sitting at 15,943 damage. So it got a nice substantial buff in its base damage. Now, one of the things that people don't seem to know about this Tank Man Shield, and something that I forgot even when I was recording my footage for this originally, was what the effect of this gun is. Basically, every kill adds weapon damage to your next magazine so let's say on your first magazine you kill five enemies right each one of those kills will give you a stack of damage that when you reload the gun that next magazine is increased by that much percentage so if we head over to a really valuable resource called lootlemon.com and then we type in tank man's shield or we just type in tank man then we click on tank man shield it'll even tell you what that percentage is each kill adds 40% weapon damage to all bullets of the next magazine up to 200%. So if you kill five enemies with that first magazine and then reload your gun, then your next magazine is going to have 200% weapon damage on each of the shots. So we're going to try and replicate that when we go do our field test. So what you want to get, if you do want to get the tank man shield, what you want is a 390 version, the 300% uh, percent weapon damage on enemies above 90% health. That way, if you're doing mobbing with this thing, which is really, let's be honest, that's what this gun's going to be good for is mobbing because you need to stack up kills. Hopefully you can one tap most enemies with this thing now, because that's really where this thing's going to shine. Serve boss execute, or at least that's what I've always Always called it it might actually be pronounced something else but that's what i've always called it this thing did not receive a card damage increase i think i accidentally sold the shock one and kept this one the non-elemental one there was no change in damage to the base damage what did change on this is the throw damage so since it's a tdr when you throw it you do more damage i was hoping that what they changed on this thing was the debuff damage because when you throw this thing it will debuff enemies uh it can be stacked up to 50% damage toward all debuffed enemies. So what it does is when thrown with an emptied magazine, it has to be an empty magazine. It can't just be like shoot, shoot, throw. It has to be an empty magazine. It will apply the stackable debuffed enemies. So you do need to empty it all the way out, okay? Keep that in mind before you uh, try to use that thing. So we'll take that out and test that here in a moment as well. Up next, we're going to take a look at the Moonfire. The Moonfire did receive a card damage increase. Now, originally when this hotfix went live, 
this wasn't showing up. So as you can see, it went from 30,000 damage to 39,000 damage. I don't believe anything else has changed on the card. And what the Moonfire does, and again, you can go to lootlemon.com and check all this stuff out. I'm not sponsoring anything. I just really like the site. It's a really cool site. What the special effect for this gun is, is every third shot is amped and deals 200% damage. It's a really cool gun. You get this from the uh, Malawan takedown. All right, up next, we're going to take a look at the Kibsworth. Now the Kibsworth got one of my favorite damage increases of all the things anybody that was watching the stream the other day if you saw me using this thing i was using it that has the elemental crits uh cause status effects of the element to explode this is essentially like using a non-anointed one for all intents and purposes and we were shredding so as you can see it went from 46 45 times two damage all the way up to 11,613 times two and that's to me that's sweet spot right there this thing is amazing does really high splash damage fun gun you get it from doing the malawan takedown the takedowns are finally rewarding again for the first time in quite some time and i freaking love it so great change on the kibs worth all right up next we got the redistributor now redistributor in case you did not know redistributor is one of those og guns from when the takedown first came out the redistributor was like the gun that everybody wanted and zane mains especially went goo goo gaga for this thing and i should know because i'm a zane main so this thing went from 3185 damage all the way up to 8280 damage now this thing is a mobbing machine and it doesn't i've i've heard people say you got to use it on zane it's only good on saying no i used this exact one with phase slam anointment on my phase cast amar the other day meaning a non-anointed one for all intents and purposes i used this i cleared the takedown easy mode it was so easy freaking great gun it's a really great gun you need to go get this thing it's a lot of fun and this it, and here's the cool thing is the damage bonuses that we're getting the damage increases that we're getting on all these things don't feel exorbitant like when the uh crit the crit got buffed that felt like a bit much to me <laughs> up next the reflux now this is one that <laughs> i had a lot of people in the stream the other day and they were going why did they buff the reflux the reflux didn't need a buff and i was like well honestly i feel like it needed a bit of a buff for a mayhem six exclusive weapon it felt just a smidge weak to me just a smidge it wasn't like it was horrible or anything and i know this is a mobbing weapon you need to use it against mobs but they didn't increase the damage so much that it's crazy they increased it so that it felt like it was a worthwhile mayhem six item to go chase the reflux as you see got a nice damage bonus from 49.82 times 14 this one's a redundant one that's why it's times 14 and not times seven and it's been buffed up to 6547 times 14 so a really really good buff on that as well the dna now this is one that i was really surprised that they buffed i'm really i'm, I'm kind of surprised they buffed this because this thing got a buff not too long back and the buff that it got not too long back i was like wow this gun is now really really good as you can see originally when the hotfix went live the other day this one was not getting its change either they've increased the damage by about ten thousand, almost eleven thousand. looks like very this thing <laughs> this thing is good dude this thing was already good this thing was already good now they've made it even more worthwhile it's kind of like the reflux they want mayhem six items to feel like mayhem six items now you can get all of the mayhem six exclusive items like the dna the reflux back burner plague bearer all of those things can drop in guardian takedown as well granted that's a lot of work to go get something where you could just go farm somebody in the the base game or whatever so keep that in mind but it does give you another incentive to go through the guardian takedown because maybe you'll get a really good dna as well as a really good stinger shield as well as a really good light speed grenade as well as a really good small smg which we're going to talk about here in a second as well dna was already good so much better now up next the multi-tap another gun that was actually already good again mayhem 6 exclusive and my god would you please look at this <laughs> would you please look at this went from 19,797 damage up to 54,442 damage this thing absolutely up next, the Web Slinger. Now, the Web Slinger is another one that uh, at the initially did not get its buff. Luckily, they caught their mistake and they have since fixed it. So let's zoom in on this bad boy. The damage was 5,215. They have more than doubled that to 11,010 damage. Now, the other stats have changed. This is one that I felt like really super duper needed this. This is one that you can only get from Scourge at the very end of the Guardian 
guardian takedown so my thing has always been if you really really want people to do the guardian takedown make those three drops that people can get at the very end of that be a hundred percent worth it we're gonna go test this thing and see if it is i haven't i have this is gonna be brand new to me too the globe trotter you can still get the gist of this basically they've increased the damage by a considerable amount not quite double but a, a nice chunk of change and again i know these are different ones or whatever but it doesn't matter none of the other stats got changed on this at all the repair time is going to be the same and all that stuff the damage increase makes this worth getting if you've never used the globe trotter before like if you've never done the guardian takedown i can tell you that this thing is comparable to the back burner rocket launcher because what it does is when you shoot it 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 splits out into like multiple projectiles uh which the back burner doesn't do so it's going to be able to hit more things but whatever it does hit directly it's going to bounce in place like a basketball and it's going to do damage in that area and the back burner does the same thing except it does it with like a fountain of projectiles it's pretty interesting and um we're gonna go test it out and see how it feels the smog now the smog i already liked the smog before the buff but the buff isn't a lot and it doesn't need to be but this tiny amount of damage boost might be enough to really put this thing over the top as one of the best smgs in the game if you guys did not know what the smog does is when you aim down sights you get a hyperion shield it's a hyperion gun so it has a hyperion shield that puts it out in front of you but while you're aimed down sights you get amp damage on all your shots while your shield is active the, the shield on the gun not your character shield but while your gun shield is active so not only will it take some damage for you but while that shield lasts you have essentially what amounts to the b shield from borderlands 2 on all your shots now you pair this with the revolter shield which is a lot like the b shield from borderlands 2 and all of a sudden you got a super b with this gun and we're gonna do that here on our test here in just a moment so stay tuned for that up next the light speed grenade this is another one that the changes didn't go through on the other day but now they've got them up and running 89,398 originally now it's up to 96,275 what this thing does is when you throw it you can bounce it off of surfaces and when it hits surfaces it splits so you'll be able to hit multiple enemies at once it's a pretty decent grenade for a Moe's that needs some kind of grenade to hit enemies multiple times to heal yeah we'll have to test that out i think that was everything uh you guys don't don't worry about that you didn't see anything let's go test these things out in the field and see how they feel so we're gonna start with the emp5 so this gun has two effects number one you run faster while you're holding in your hands and number two when you jump, you do more damage when you hit your, I believe it's when you hit crits. While airborne, 80% critical hit damage and increased accuracy, and you get 20% movement speed. So our regular damage on this guy, not, not amazing, obviously, right? But you jump, you're going to do a little bit more damage. So EMP5 still feels pretty weak to me. Let's let's go ahead and cast and then obviously we're gonna do a lot more damage because the revolter kicks in at that point so yeah it feels a lot better once you do that <laughs> it's not horrible it's just not great but for the longest time this gun's been all about the speed bonuses you get all right let's go ahead and take a look at the tank man shield now revolt damage wow okay even with the revolter 390 i didn't kill that guy <laughs> tank man shield okay so here's the problem with the tank man shield that's weak as shit <laughs> That is pretty, pretty weak. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, man. That's that's not pleasant. This thing is just weak, man. It just doesn't feel great. There is a kill that would give me 40% damage on this magazine. Plus my 300 over 90, and I still can't one-tap that guy. Now, though, I got a ricochet shot there with indiscriminate that killed that guy. So that's pretty neat. I mean, here's the thing. It's, just, it's not great is the problem. It's just not... And it's a Mayhem 4 exclusive, so this and the EMP5, I mean, they're Mayhem 4 exclusives. They, you know, they feel weaker than Mayhem 6 exclusives. There should be that ladder of progression with the damage anyhow. I'm okay with it. They're better than some base game options, so that's fine to me. So up next, we're going to test the uh, Serve Boss Execute and Moonfire. So let's start with the Serve Boss Execute. You know, put the Moonfire there. We're going, let's see, do I have room in the, Oh, yeah, I've got room in there. So let's go and throw these in the backpack. All right, so Serve Boss Execute got a bonus to the uh, the throw damage. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and empty it out of the way. So now that guy's debuffed. And I guess it would help if I aimed it at him. Yeah, I can't even get this thing to hit, dude. <laughs> it's like going right through him or something. Yeah, I, I'm not feeling the Serve Boss Execute. I'll be honest with you guys. I can't seem to hit anything with the, uh, the throw reload of this gun right now. Even when they're standing right in front of me, it feels like it's just, it feels like it's dodging them. 
I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of that. The moon fire. All right. So the moon fire, every third shot does amped damage. So let's uh, go ahead and get the Kraken out here. We'll take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and cast and we're going to shoot him. Uh, <laughs> two, three. As you see, that wiped out both of those guys because my indiscriminate shot. Now, I'm on uh, fire as my element here. So not ideal. Let's go ahead and swap that over while I'm thinking of that. Swap this over so we get um, corrosive damage on our shots here. Yeah, the moon fire, you're only really going to get good effect on that if you're hitting crits. One, two, three. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, man. It just doesn't feel that great versus him, at least. Versus enemies where I can hit their crits easily, though, this might be pretty good. Try and pop some crits in this guy. All right, so one, two. Okay, well, we killed him in two shots. The cool thing is you can shoot this thing as fast as you want, essentially. This is how fast you can shoot it, and that's the kick of the gun. So it's pretty substantial. And you can tell when it's an amp shot, because you'll see the uh, the blue beam. Let's go ahead and try it on the Valkyries here on the first phase and see how that feels. And then we'll swap over to another weapon and test that out, too. That was my amp shot there. Okay, yep, that was pretty good. Pretty good. So while it's decent, there's still much better pistol options. Kibsworth and Redistributor. Things are about to get stupid over here. So the Kibsworth that I showed you guys was this one. Let's go ahead and use one that's actually good. Right, we're going to go next to Mag Shock Damage. And this one does have Corrosion on it. So we're going to start with the Kibsworth. And I'm going to go into Corrosive Mode. Even though these guys aren't going to be weak to Corrosion, we're just going to use it on them. Because why not? And you'll see my indiscriminate shots bounce around. So don't think that all these weapons have some sort of magical bounce around powers. That's Amara's indiscriminate skill. Yeah, look, see, Amara's the weakest gun damage character. And I just wiped that guy without having my Revolter up. Now my Revolter's up. You're going to see the damage go up quite a bit. Yes, yeah, so the main problem with the uh, the Kibs is since it is splash damage, you can actually kill yourself pretty easily with this thing if enemies get right up in your face. So keep that in mind. And the other thing about the Kibs worth is it makes these healing circles. In case you guys didn't know, it's kind of like um, a grog nozzle in a way. Let's let these guys take my health down a little bit. All right, we get a kill. And then we can hang out in the circle. And as you see, as people damage me, I'm healing it back up. I'm on fire and people are shooting me. And this uh, circle is keeping me alive. So basically, as long as you can kill somebody, get in the circle, you're going to do a pretty good job of staying alive. Ooh, we, we went way low on health right there. This guy is chucking stuff at me. And you can see that that would be ticking my health down quite a bit. But we got the healing circle now. When the healing circle goes away, watch how fast. See how fast it goes down without the healing circle? The healing circle is real damn good. So that makes the uh, the kibs very much worth it. Okay, we got a healing circle in the fire. I'll stand in the fire in the healing circle. As you can see, we don't die from that. All right, so now we can use the redistributor. And this thing is great for mobbing. As I said before, you want to have as many enemies near each other as possible because it's going to chain between them all. Pretty much like one of the most ultimate mobbing weapons you could have. It's it's just amazing. You combine this with the revolter, like I said, and you're going to tear stuff up. You won't have any trouble doing either of the takedowns, especially if you're matching your elements properly. So make sure you get redistributors in all the different elements. So let's start with the reflux, especially since we have so many enemies around. The reflux is a great weapon for whenever you have a bunch of enemies on screen at once. As you can see, this thing, this chains between all of them. It does corrosive damage, but you can get one with action skill in whatever you know element you want, and you're going to do some serious work with this thing. So yeah, the reflux is very strong, man. Very strong, very good absolutely worth farming genevieve for if you can on amara zane and flak i would say avoid the redundant reflux because you're going to go through ammo you're going to spend a lot of time reloading and not doing damage go for the time seven it's going to be just fine let's use the dna versus wotan because we can go ahead and shoot that that's good gun damage holy crap <laughs> the dna is pretty good man dna holy jeez. okie dokie I didn't expect that. I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I didn't expect that. DNA is doing some work, man. Oh my God. Okay. DNA is, DNA is kind of, kind of strong, dudes. <laughs> it's kind of strong, dudes. <laughs> so yeah, that thing is doing pretty damn good. This isn't the most ideal weapon for this fight. In case you guys didn't know that. <laughs> but it did work, man. Let's see if I can bust the legs with it. Yep. Busting the legs with it too. All right, well, let's, uh, well, shoot, I was going to polish him off with the multi-tap, but he's pretty much already dead. So we'll start with the multi-tap, then we'll do the uh, web slinger, then we'll do the globe trotter, and then we'll wrap it up with the smog. 
So let's throw this thing on tracker grenades, hit this dude, and I got him. So now I can shoot near him and all the bullets will go toward him. Pretty good damage. All right, now without a tracker grenade, just me aiming with my glorious aim, this thing does work. This thing absolutely does work. Again, this is a Mayhem 6 exclusive weapon. Get this one from uh, Katagawa Ball. I may have six and above. Katagawa Ball, of all people. All right, now all of that was without the Revolter. All right, now with the Revolter on, <laughs> with the Revolter doing work, we should be able to shred even harder. Yeah, you can see the multi-tab. I mean, there's no point in me using that anymore. That thing just absolutely destroys fools. All right, so let's go ahead and do Web Slinger. Shield is not active. So this is just the, the actual damage of the gun there without any boost from the Revolter. Okay, so now with the Revolter, Pretty damn good, pretty damn good. Feel a drop off. This thing has this weird effect though, where it it shakes really bad. You guys see how bad that shakes your screen? Not a fan of that. So let's cast this out, revolt, and see if we can melt the Kraken down. That's not bad. That's not bad. I would have killed him faster with a light show or any number of other weapons. So keep that in mind. There's better options still yet, unfortunately. I feel like the uh, the web slinger is still just not really where it needs to be for a guardian takedown exclusive. So the globe trotter, as you can see, shoots out multiple projectiles. That did some work right there versus those dudes. All right, let's see if we can hit a bunch of these guys at once. Yeah, that's pretty nice, dude. Oh, sh all right, this guy has almost his full shield and in the second bounce, almost got him down to the uh, immune phase. That's pretty damn good, dudes. All right, so this guy's a corroder heavyweight. I've got corrosion on my secondary skill. I just fucked him up. That dude didn't have a chance. All right, and then this guy, boom, he's done. Yeah, I, you know, the globe trotter, much improved. It was already decent, but it's much improved. Now the smog. This is one that I have loved for quite some time. Yeah, dude, this, this thing feels so nice now. Uh, in the hands of Zane. I can only imagine that this thing is just amazing right now. I haven't uh, tried it on him yet after the buffs, but I'm sure it's really, really good right now. Okay, here we are on Athenus. We're going to head over and see if we can get some kills with the light speed grenade. I don't think that we will, but I'm sure it's all going to try because this is something you can only get by doing one of the hardest pieces of content in the game, the Guardian Takedown. So you would think that you would want to make it one of the strongest, most powerful grenades in the game. However, <laughs> let's, let's hit a direct hit with this thing. Yeah, it's just, it's just not good. <laughs> but what this thing does is when, again, when you hit the ground, it splits into multiple projectiles. You can also bounce it off of things and it'll come back and hit enemies. We got a kill there. We got a kill there. I mean, it's okay, but I would much rather use piss grenade or a hex grenade or hunter seeker or Nagata, red queen for single targets. Uh, there's just so many better options in my opinion for grenades than the light speed so that is my buff test video put up a list right here that you'll see on the side of the screen my big winners in this thing are the kibsworth the redistributor the multi-tap the globe trotter and i'm gonna go ahead and put at the bottom of the big winners the smog the smog was already good it's much better now oh the dna put that on the list as well those are now some of the best in slot items in the game they're they're all great uh they all have their own uses and things that they're good at the biggest losers of this in my opinion are the web slinger still feels like garbage to me the tank man shield still not fun to use you have trouble killing basic mobs with it i know it's a mayhem 4 but it's just it doesn't feel great serve boss execute it's great for what it does again the whole point of the serve boss execute is to empty out the mag and when you do you get, apply that big debuff to enemies and that's what it's really for but that comes at the cost of using up a bunch of ammo, obviously. And also you waste time by waiting to empty out the clip. And the light speed grenade is my other biggest loser. The moon fire is kind of like right there in the middle. I feel like the moon fire was already decent. It's a very niche kind of weapon that only certain players are gonna love. You need to have really good accuracy to enjoy that gun. If you have great accuracy, 
you probably love the Moonfire because that 200% damage amp shot on every third shot is monstrous. I would even say that you could pair that with a 300 over 90 anointment and just unload your first two shots and then go around one tap and everything with that 300 over 90. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day. Bye, everybody.